Did you know that LEGO is about to launch new electronic system this August? One that includes cordless motors and sensors? First spotted at Brickset, there's a number of LEGO education sets scheduled to release soon, and what makes them special are the electronic components. These include two kinds of motors, a color sensor and a remote, and each of these components is cordless, with its own rechargeable battery inside. In this video I'm going to take a closer look at these sets and components, and I will share what I've learned while participating in a LEGO education demo session. Please keep in mind that this is not an official video from the LEGO group and that I can't guarantee that every information in it is correct. In August 2025 LEGO will be releasing three brand new education sets aimed at different learning levels. There will be Science Kit K2, priced at $329.95, Science Kit 3 to 5, priced at $399.95, and Science Kit 6 to 8, priced at eye-watering $499.95. And if you like bigger numbers, there are bundles available too, for example a $3,000 bundle containing 6 of the 7 to 9 kits along with additional multi-chargers and other stuff. Each set contains some instructions books, Lego pieces, and some electronic components. Brickset already has lists of most pieces in each set, so what I'm going to focus on are just the electronics, because these are unlike anything Lego has released before. First, we have a remote with two levers. It sports an USB-C port for charging along with a status LED, and this is something you'll see on each of these components. The size appears to be approximately 4 by 8 by 3 studs. There is no information about whether the levers provide proportional speed control or not. Then there is a single motor, which also includes an internal battery and a charging port. The size looks like 7 by 6 studs and 3 bricks tall, and there is a single output in the form of a 3 by 3 studs disc with a single axle hole and two pin holes. Next, we have a double motor which appears to be two motors inside one housing, with two independent outputs on the opposite sides. The size looks like 10 by 6 studs and 3 bricks tall. I don't know if the internal battery is doubled compared to the single motor. This thing here is a color sensor, it seems to be 4 by 6 studs and 2 bricks tall and there appear to be 3 small openings in the front. One of them is most likely an LED for lighting things up and the other two are probably meant to distinguish various colors. There was at least one LEGO Mindstorms color sensor before sporting a similar array of three openings. Finally, there's a simple USB-C splitter for charging up to eight devices simultaneously. Bricklink also lists another charger numbered 45623 but without a picture or any info, so my guess is that it's simply a smaller variant sporting fewer ports, probably four. There is no information on whether an actual charger is included with the splitter. Now, the idea behind this new system is that each element has its own internal battery, you don't connect anything and everything is ready to go as soon as you unbox it. That means no wires, no smartphone app, just a remote that connects to the motors and an optional color sensor that probably interacts with the motors too. Lego mentioned that everything is pre-programmed, and from the demo session that I attended it looks like you configure things by using connection cards that you tap motors and remote with. I'm guessing the cards act like NFC tokens that activate one of a number of predefined configurations between all these components. This probably means that you can't set these components up freely and you are limited to choosing from a number of existing setups, but that remains to be seen. LEGO claims that there are 40 separate lessons included in each set, which amounts to 120 lessons in total, so the number of existing setups can be accordingly high. Other things I've learned from the demo session is that all these electronic components are exclusive to the LEGO education line, so you won't see them in a Technic set. They are also not programmable, meaning that you can't interact with them using the LEGO Powered Up nor the Control Plus app, and you can't connect them to a Powered Up remote. I see a lot of potential in having motors that need no wires and no external power supply nor a remote control hub, but we have to remember that these sets are not designed for builders and tinkerers. Instead, they are meant for teachers who are limited by length of a lesson and need things that work right out of the box, with as little fuss as possible and that offer reliable, repeated experience. In other words, these are teaching aids and not toys for LEGO Technic fans. It remains to be seen whether the idea of components with internal rechargeable batteries remains limited to the LEGO Education products, because there is no reason why it should. And it's remarkable that in just a couple of years LEGO was able to go from stuffing AA batteries everywhere to this. I hope this is the future of all LEGO sets.